Hey, hey, everybody. King Gooch coming at you. How's it going? I missed you guys. Uh, I've been away for a while, fighting a battle with my internet service provider. Uh, but I missed you guys so much. I've been watching a lot of your videos. Uh, I watch a lot of videos on my phone, that sort of thing. Uh, plus, I've just been crazy busy with work. Uh, but I decided to make one because I miss talking to you guys. So um, I decided to run through my books. Uh, these are the books for that was Wednesday, July 3rd. Uh, lots of good books came out. Got a few trades too. Uh, if you guys are following me on Twitter, um, I've been trying to post some pictures and stuff of... Uh, some of the back issues and whatnot that I pick up. Uh, so we'll run through this haul here. Um, but if you uh, if you want to, my Twitter handle is fought13, F-O-U-G-H-T 13. Jump on there. I'm on there quite a bit. Uh, check me out. Uh, tweet at me. Whatever. Uh, yeah. So, start this off. Uh, I've read most of these books. These first four I haven't read yet. So, uh, and for no apparent reason, I just kind of went in order. Uh, but, got Green Lantern 22. Kind of excited uh, to read this one. It's the new recruits. Um, even though Lar Please is in it. Kind of, kind of looking forward to it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what the new Green Lanterns are like. Uh, and of course, Hal is there, so uh, can't be too bad, right? Uh, and I got Uber number three. We'll see. I didn't like num issue number two as much as I like number one. Uh, so we'll we'll see. It's almost uh, the zero issue was great. Number one was pretty good. Number two was not as good. So we'll see. Three might be the end for me. We'll see. Uh, then I got Hoax Hunter's Case Files. I don't think this actually came out this week. It might have been the week before. But I have Hoax Hunters on my pull list. But um, since this is a different series or whatever, they didn't put it in my file. So I went and picked this up. I really like Hoax Hunters. It's a really great book. Um, it's... I think it's kind of underrated. People don't. I don't think a lot of people really read it, um, but it's really good. Uh, I recommend it. There's been a couple of a couple of iffy issues in that series, but uh, for the most part, the idea behind it is um, it's a like a ghost hunters type of, type of show, um, but it's set up as it's set up as a show where they're debunking everything, but it turns out behind the scenes they're actually uh, fighting or all this stuff's real, but they just don't want the public to know. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and I got this is the last one I haven't read yet. Iron Man number something, number 12. I don't know about this book either. Um, really liked it for a while. Started out crappy, got a little better. Now I don't know. We'll see. This one, this one might be the uh, the deciding factor. Um, here's a book that's been great the entire time. I don't know how many people read this one either, and it's uh, they just uh, they just uh, announced that it's going to be an ongoing. It's five weapons. This is number five. It was supposed to be a five-issue miniseries, but um, apparently they decided to make it an ongoing, and I'm excited about it. It's it's uh, it's really good. Um, I don't the end of this one makes me wonder how it's going to go on because one of the coolest things about this book is it's a school that's split up into like clans based on weapons, like uh, oh, like the the gun clan or whatever, you know. Uh, the gun club. Um, so there's five different ones, and um, 
at the end of this, I don't know if they're going back to the school or not. I was kind of confused by the end, but really good book. The art is cool. It's different than a lot of stuff. Um, it, check out Five Weapons. There should be a trade coming out because it was supposed to end at five, so that was the end of the story arc. So uh, check out the trade. Then I got the movement number three. I'm liking this too. Um, I wasn't the first issue was weird, um, but it's really it's really good. I keep thinking that this is Huntress. It's not Huntress, but uh, there's some pretty funny moments. Um, in here, there's there's some crazy characters in this book. Um, but yeah, check this out. The movement. This is the other the other one that came out. They were doing the one percent book and the uh, ninety nine percent book. The movement's the ninety nine percent book. This is the green team team trillion team trillionaires. Uh, this is the one percenters book. Um, there's some fun stuff in here too. I like the movement better. Uh, but this is only issue two, so we'll see where it goes. Uh, there's definitely some fun stuff in here. Uh, some of the technology they come up with is really cool. Um, they basically have Iron Man suits, like two of them, um, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this was fun. Uh, I didn't expect this to come out. I saw Jimmy Palmiotti tweet about it. Uh, maybe a week ago, um, but I, I one of my favorite series is is the What If series, uh, the old Bronze Age What If series, um, and this is What If ABX uh, number one, Jimmy Palmiotti doing a What If story. This is really fun. Um, it almost feels like. Um, they changed some stuff. Like it's almost like he did this because a lot of people weren't happy with AVX. I don't know if that's the case, but I have a feeling this story is going to kick way more ass than AVX did. Um, AVX was okay. I didn't mind it. Uh, I just didn't think it was that great. But this this got me already. Um, so I'm excited to carry on with that. Uh, I don't know how many issues of that he's doing either. So we'll see. Uh, things are ramping up in Thief of, Thief of Thieves, number 15. Um, they're going off to do their the big job to uh, save Redmond's son. Um, and apparently it's a heist he's been planning for years. I think it's Vienna. Um, in, in stuff like this, they always refer to jobs by the city. I always think that's funny. So this job is Vienna. So we'll see what that means, but it, it seems like it's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, I've seen mixed mixed reports on this one. Trinity of Sin Pandora number one. I liked it. I thought it was really great. I think she's a cool character. Um, I haven't really... I've read some of the Phantom Stranger stuff. Um, but I didn't really grasp who she was, really. Um, but in this, it just gives her entire origin. And it's, it's pretty badass, I thought. Um, I think it's really good. I'm looking forward to Trinity, Trinity War. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Ray Fox writing it. Um, he's really kind of become a, a cool voice in, in DC. Um. He did a great job when he took over for Gail Simone, when she got fired for a couple a couple of months. Um, so yeah, it's, he did a great job on that book too. I thought this was fun. Superior foes of Spider-Man. Um, it's it's basically it's the Sinister Six. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, but what's funny to me is there's five of them, and uh, Boomerang is their leader. And at one point in this, he actually goes, "Yes, I know there's only five. So um, it's a fun book, though. Uh, 
a period, apparently it's Superior Spider Month, I didn't know that. Must be July, huh? <coughs> uh, Earth 2, things are ramping up in this too. Um, as you can see here, war. Um, they are preparing to battle Steppenwolf. Uh, the proverbial shit is about to hit the fan. Uh, things are going to go down. It's going to get ugly. Big trouble in World China, as well as the rest of the world. Uh, looking forward to the next issue and see see what happens. Um, I don't know. I think I heard James Robinson left or something. I don't know. If you guys know anything about James Robinson, put it down in the comments. Because I swear I heard something about he left. But after I said it out loud, it sounded weird. Uh, this next book, I didn't really like that much. I'm a huge Dexter fan. I love the, the show. Um, I didn't dig this. This wasn't very good. Uh, the art is crappy. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel it at all. Uh, I was so excited. I mean, it was solicited like months and months and months ago, and they kept pushing it back, and that kind of gave me a an inkling that it wasn't going to be the greatest thing ever, and it turned out to not be. Um, if you haven't seen the show Dexter, you might like it, um, but yeah, it wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, so. We'll move on from that. Oh, uh, next. Uh, one of my one of my favorite characters. Um, when I was growing up, I was really big into uh, Ghost Rider. I was into Dead Man, and I was into Daredevil. And I'm so happy right now because all of the Daredevil stuff that's coming out is really really good. This one, Daredevil Dark Knights, it's a little different. Um, it's um, more in his head. It's more, um, there's a lot of Bible quotes and that kind of stuff. Kind of, uh, kind of like the Marvel Knights stuff. Um, but I really, I, I, I really think it's great. It's a great idea for a story. There's a helicopter that has crashed in a, uh, in a snowstorm uh, that was carrying a heart for a young girl, uh, for a kid, um, and Daredevil is trying to go get the heart and bring it back to the hospital. Um, so it's, I mean, I think it's a cool uh, story. I think there's plenty of stuff there that can be dealt with. Um, the other cool thing is, is it's a snowstorm, so it's really messing up uh, Daredevil's senses because of all the snow interfering with everything. So it's really cool. Um, I like it a lot. I liked um, Daredevil End of Days maybe a, a little bit more, but this is still really good. Um, it's Daredevil. It's good. Uh, this was good, too. Uh, Satellite Sam. Issue one, Matt Fraction, Howard Chaikin. I'm a big uh, Matt Fraction fan. Um, I like Howard Chaikin's art a lot. Um, so this was kind of a winner for me. It's black and white. It takes place in the 50s, kind of the the beginning of network TV growing, that kind of stuff. So um, it's kind of cool to see that world. Along with, uh, I think it's basically going to be a murder mystery. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. Matt Fraction's the shit. Um, he does such great work, and uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a few months. So I was excited to get it. I liked it a lot. Uh, Green Arrow 22, pretty good. Um, that Count Vertigo part was cool. Um, what else about it? Uh, it's just a well-written story. Um, they're doing a great job. I still wish Ollie would go back to his old look. and know why they're not. Um, it just doesn't feel like Green Arrow. Um, but it's a good book, nonetheless. 
my pick of the week it has to be yep yeah, it would be this one Deadpool kills Deadpool number one Cullen Bunn is killing it with his with his Deadpool killology or whatever it's called killogy um, this one's so fun the Deadpool core comes back Deadpool corpse whatever we want to call it um, and uh, they're all fighting side by side to figure out who's trying to kill all the Deadpools in the different universe universes um, really really fun book it's so fun this is even more fun this was even more fun than the uh, than the normal Daredevil Deadpool uh, series that's ongoing right now which is that's a lot of fun too but this is so good. I loved every every page of that was was great. Um, I might reread that today because it's good stuff. Uh, then finally, this is my last uh, last of the single issues for the week. Uh, Detective Twenty Two. Um, so I said in uh, the Green Team that they basically have Iron Man suits. Well. This seems a lot like an Iron Man suit too. Uh, this story's good. Um, there's uh, a cop killer in, in Gotham. We're trying to figure out what that all means. There's a new guy that came in with a tech company uh, trying to buy Wayne Industries. So wonder if they're connected. Um, but it, it it really is a good story. Um, and it's one of those fun ones where the cops think Batman is the killer uh, for a while. So he has to dis disprove that while saving people and that kind of stuff. So uh, John Lehman is doing a great job. I like uh, Faybox art. I like his uh, I like his Batman a lot. Um, almost as much as Capullo's Batman. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, then I just got a few trades I want to show that I got this week. Um, I got this one shop I go to. They have half price trades um, <coughs> and back issues. Uh, so I picked up three trades for half price. Um, this first one is classic uh, story that I've never read and I don't know why. Uh, it's the Kree Scro Scroll War. Uh, the Avengers. It's the Marvel Marvel's finest edition. Uh, I was talking with uh, Captain Cummings over Twitter, trying to figure out if this was a new one. I think if this was an, like a new printing or whatever. But I, the date on the inside is 2000, so it's it's not not new. But I mean it's. It's, uh, he was talking about he has a different, there's a volume one and volume two with the two halves of the story. This has both um, in one book. So uh, it's pretty cool. It was, I got it for 12 bucks, 12.50. Um, so couldn't pass that up. Then this one's a big thick son of a bitch too. Um, this feels thicker than the other ones. This is uh, book four, the sixth gun. I love the sixth gun. So good. Um, I don't know why I wasn't reading this before. And then uh, Travis Oddfellow's Thoughts came out and kind of went on a campaign telling people to get this book. And then I went to uh, a comic convention, and I met Cullen Bunn, and I met Brian Hurt. So I bought the first trade from them, had him sign it, uh, went home and just read that thing pretty quick. So good, such a good story. Um, I had to go out and get the next two, and I picked this one up too. Um, I'm, i got to figure out, I don't know why... I haven't figured out yet how many of these are out yet because um, I want to get current on it so that I can get into issues kind of like what I did with uh, The Walking Dead 
So I thought it was much further behind on The Walking Dead. So I think I had to get 16 trades of The Walking Dead to catch up. So at least this one's not that far in. So I can catch up. Uh, then finally, here's another epic story that I don't know why I haven't read it yet. Um, but I started it. I'm about... Oh, maybe an issue and a half in, but uh, it's uh, Blackest Night, and I'm loving it so far. It's so cool. They've got like a Memorial Day for heroes and people that have uh, fallen in battle, superheroes and that kind of stuff, and that's what's going on right now, and they're going around paying paying honor, paying tribute to uh, the fallen heroes. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I love zombies and I love superheroes, so Blackest Night should be right up my alley. I've been reading a lot of Green Lantern lately, um, so I'm excited for this. Um, hope to do more videos soon, guys. Uh, I really do miss you. Um, I love talking to all you guys on Twitter. Uh, again, my Twitter is fought13, F-O-U-G-H-T-13, uh, all one word. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting on some Hangouts again soon. Uh, I miss you. Uh, please keep making videos. Keep me entertained. Uh, and we'll see you soon, okay? Catch you on the flip.